I'm just going to do a short video on this compass that I bought. It's a 1918 Krutkin and Emons. I'm not sure how that pronounced it. C and E, C on the back. It doesn't stand for Corps of Engineers, although if you look on the front of the compass here, it does say Corps of Engineers, but that's not what the C and E stands for. It was in pretty rough shape when I got it, but it looks a lot better now. And uh, I'm just going to show you some things on it. I think it's kind of neat. It still works, which is pretty awesome. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Of course, you open the compass up, and this is how you'd sight and get your azimuth. Uh, you notice that the dial's not moving at the moment, but that's because it's locked. Over here is a little switch. There it goes, release it. While it's finding north, come around here, there's a little break that if it was uh, moving a lot, you could slow it down with that right there. But I can tell you that that's pointing, pointing pretty good as far as north goes. I'm not holding it level so I can get that. And then there's your little magnifying glass that you can use to see your bearings. Goes in there, and the little feature here is kind of neat. I thought this is a it said made in 1918, but a lot of modern compasses were made after its design. But when you close it, you see this little metal piece here. When it closes, it pushes that switch over and locks the compass dial so it doesn't move when you're in transit. So it's kind of neat. Like I said, it works really good.